Hi, welcome once again. So this is part two of the how to use the semi auto chemistry analyzer. In part two, we'll go through um, how to program the machine for a test. Okay, so I've shown you the main menu already. So this is how the main menu looks like. So this is where we perform a test. We can perform a test using the flow cell or the cuvet and in this particular machine we are going to use the flow cell so to perform a test you click on the flow cell and then there are a number of parameters here you can select the one that you want to test for so this is alt alp total bilirubin direct bilirubin this is uh, ldo cholesterol this is tg and then you can come down for more tests this is um, calcium this is magnesium then you can convert that down to um, CKMB. This is a gamma GT. You can convert that down until it's exhausted. Okay, so let me come up. When you choose a particular test, let's say sodium, click on confirm. And then it asks you whether you want to do a reagent blank. Then you select yes. In this case, we are not doing the test. And so I'll click on no. And it takes me to the interface for where you're actually going to do the test but in this video we're not going to do the test we'll do that in part three and so i'll wait i'll return do you want to wash yes always washing is very important and so i'll quickly um, do my washing So it will aspirate the um, DI water and then it will successfully return to the main menu again. So basically if you want to perform a test, uh, those are the series of steps you are going to follow through. But I'm going to go through it again in part 3 of this video when we are actually running a test. My focus in this video is to show you how to program it. Okay. So it comes back to where you have your test, different test parameters. So you go back to return. Now, we clicked on sodium and we wanted to do sodium. But before you do sodium, you have to program the machine according to the manufacturer's instruction. So to program a machine, you come to the program, the project. So any parameter that you want to program, you can select it here and then you program in case what you want to program is not here or part of the list we have here you can go further down and click on any of the question marks and begin to program whatever you want to program okay in this video i will take you through um, the three main analytical methods that we have so in clinical chemistry, we have three main analytical methods. We have endpoint, we have kinetic, and then we have fixed time or fixed time or two point method. Okay, so um, let's assume we want to program um, what do you call it? Um, potassium okay so you click on it potassium here and then you click on confirm and then what analytical method is it so here you click on the project and you can edit it then you come to the analytical method is endpoint how do you know it's endpoint it's the manufacturer of the reagent that tells you so let me show you quickly the uh, one i have here so this reagent was manufactured by LabCare and these are the assay procedure. So you quickly read it and then it gives you the parameters that you need to program your machine. So the analytical method is endpoint is here. Reaction type is a set endpoint. And so you put it in there. Okay, the wavelength is 630 nanometers. But if you don't have 630, any of this range is okay. The light, 
path is one centimeter. The reaction temperature is uh, room temperature. And then you have to do a reagent blank. And then the sample volume is 20 microliters. Then reagent volume is uh, 1000 microliters. The incubation time five minutes. And the blank absorbance limit is this. And then the thus we have the reference range. The load normal is 3.6 uh, milli eq per liter, and then the high is 5.5, and then the linearity, that's the highest is 7.0. Okay, so basically this is what you need to program your machine. So we come back with this in mind. It was end point. I've already programmed this already. So the wavelength, if you remember, 6:30, and then they say second wavelength we don't need a second wavelength in this test so you leave it like that then the dilution ratio uh, you leave it to one because we are actually not going to dilute the sample then the temperature is room temperature that's 25 degrees celsius you can edit it so 25 you leave it like that and the sample volume if you remember is 20 microliters then the unit is minimal per liter or milli eq per liter is the same thing and you count to page down then the decimal point whether you have one two decimal points or one that you put it there then reagent blank the blank what we have sample water and then reagent blank and so the one the reagent the manufacturers is what you use then the factor you leave here the same for end point usually the machine will have the factor for you to be there for other parameters like kinetic method the manufacturer will give you the and the factor so here you leave it like that but because i've programmed this machine i've used before it has calculated the factor okay the delay time usually for an end point is five minutes and then the test time is five minutes this is the reference range and this is the linearity range so it's asking for the standard the here is quantity of standard how many standards do you want to test in this particular assay is only one so I'll put one there and then the standard concentration is 5 milli EQ. So it's on the uh, assay. So you come back to the assay and then you look for the standard concentration. So um, that's it, 5 milli EQ. So that's how I count the notes, five. So it's five. You've already input the unit already and then you click on C. So basically that's how to program for the parameter like this uh, potassium. Okay, so I return and if I want to test, I click on the test. I look for potassium, then I click on it, then confirm, and then it will ask me to test my reagent. So basically that's how you go about it. So that's an end point. Let me show you the other ones in the book. So this is uh, another endpoint method for total protein. So the analytical method is an endpoint. Then the primary wavelength is uh, five, four, six. Then it doesn't have a secondary wavelength. Then dilution will be leave it to one. Then the temperature to the same. The sample volume is six hundred. Then the unit is one per liter. So that's how you program it, and then it continues to. The second the decimal one you do a reagent blank you leave the factor to zero and then delay time and test time is five five seconds for um for end point reaction then this is the reference when according to the manufacturer so this typical um end point reaction i'm going to do a video where i explain all the reaction types end point two point and then kinetic so that you understand and appreciate all this okay so that's end point let's look at um, um, kinetic let's look at a kinetic method so how to program a kinetic method so the analytical method so this is alt the analytical method will be kinetic the primary wavelength will be 340 the secondary wavelength without then the dilution give it to one the temperature 37 mind you all these are according to the manufacturer of the reagent or the test assay then the sample volume 600 microliters the unit is 
international units per liter and then you continue decimal point when you do a reagent plant then they'll give you the factor 17464 this acid then later time will be given by the manufacturer so here's 60 seconds then the test time is 60 seconds then there's the reference um, range and then the linearity range okay so in a typical um, um, kinetic method because they'll give you the uh, factor the factor will be stated you will not have to put any standard so you the standard side will be zero and then <coughs> you leave all this side one. Right? so that's how to program for a kinetic method now the third one is a two point two point acid or two point uh, metal so here um, we have uh, urea we are using urea as an example so it's a two point metal so um, the analytical method will be two points the wavelength will be 340 then secondary wavelength will be without then the dilution you do is one then temperature 37 degrees celsius sample volume is 600 then the unit to be minimal per liter okay so we continue there's one point leave it to two or one according to your preference then the, we'll do a radiant plant we'll leave the factor to zero and then delay time 30 seconds test time 40 seconds and then the reference in 2.9 to 8.2 and then the linearity range is 1 to 35.6 then we have a standard so we'll put one standard and then we'll put the concentration of the standard and then you finally save and then you can go to the test site to actually do your program okay so basically that's about how to program the machine in our next video we're actually going to do it so that you fully appreciate it Thank you.